hello guys welcome back to my channel in the today we are we are going to discuss the infosys interview question and uh, as a part 3 so this is the part 3 for the infosys interview question if you have, if you do not seen the uh, part 1 and part 2 so please go through the check from the video section now moving to the question and the first question is how to implement the parameterization in the cucumber so first we will see parameter what is parameterization so parameterization means it allow us to pass a dynamic test data into a step definition which help to avoid the deductive step definition and the make test more flexible reusable and maintainable means parameterization means when we have to execute the multiple set of the data at the same time that time we use the parameterization concept so in a using parameterization we can write a single scenario that work for the multiple input means here there is a two uh, username two password so by using this parameterizations we can run this username and password the multiple time so there is a three way to pass the test data in a cucumber the first is a scenario outline then say, second is a regular expression and the third is a data tables in this question we will see the data implementation by the scenario outline in the example given so this is most commonly used method when we want to execute a scenario multiple time with a different input so here we have to replace hard code value with a place holder inside the use uh, angular bracket like username and the password in the feature file so the, as you see username in angular bracket and the password it will replace by the this value admin and admin 1 2 then after date execution then it will take a second value like user as the username and the wrong password is a password so in this way we will use the scenario outline and the example to implement the parameterization in the cucumber so this is the example of the step definition file <clears throat> basically why we use scenario outline so it is based for repeating repeating in the same scenario multiple time with a different input it make the test class classes shorter cleaner and the reusable it is easy to maintain as a new test data can be added so we implement parameterization in the cucumber with the help of scenario outline so as a real world example like imagine we have a login functionality where we need to test the multiple user with a different credential so instead of writing the separate scenario for each user we use the parameterization to execute same scenario multiple time with a different now the next question is explain the uh, feature file step definition and the hook so first we will see the feature file so basically feature file in a cucumber is where we write the test scenario in the gherkin syntax so it describe the application behavior in a human readable format means it is a feature file where we write a test cases in a human readable format means any non technical person can understand the test cases so basically feature file is a text file which written in the gherkin language which contain the test scenario in a human readable format so why we need a uh, feature file because it act as a bridge between the business and the technical team and it allow the non technical stakeholder to understand the test cases it provide the reusability and maintainability of the test cases and in working language it use the keyword like feature scenario given then then and but it is an example of the feature file so the feature keyword define the overall feature being tested the scenario describe the specified test cases and given when then are the step that will be the map to into the step definition file now moving to the uh, now moving to the next concept and the next concept is the step definition so a step definition is a java class that contain actual implementations of the step which written in the feature file so step means here is the step is a given when then so it map the feature file step into a java meter and it uses the cucumber annotation like at the rate given at the rate when at the rate day so in it implement the test logic using selenium resource word and the other library 
this is the example of the step definition files like when added when added then and the give now the third is a what is hook so hook is a special method that execute before and the after the every scenario so hook are used for the setup the setup like a launching browser setting up the test data and the closing browser and the clearing the test data so there are the different types of hook like added before added after added before step and added after step so added before meet it run before each scenario added after means it run after each scenario and added before step after step meet it run before every step after every step so interviewer can ask this question different between added before and added before step so keep in mind now uh i hope guys you understand this question that what is feature file what step definition and the hook so feature file contain the test scenario which written in the plain english they describe how the application should be and the step definition map the feature file step to the actual java meter they contain the selenium for ui and the resistor for the api control and the hook means it execute the setup and the tear down task like it uses the annotations added before and the after so now moving to the next question and next question is what is different between implicit explicit and the fluent based so basically uh moving to the uh, this question i have create the one hooks which contain the 2000 or to 2500 plus interview question for the api automations selenium manual testing and the java interview question so if you want this question set i am question so i am providing its link in the comment box and the description box and i have tried to question for all this uh, i have tried to give the answer for all these questions so go through this link and uh, share your feedback with me so our go to the our question and the our question was different between implicit explicit and the fluent based so uh, basically the question is why are the weight needed in the selenium means why we use the weight concept in the selenium so web applications take time to load element due to the ajax call slow responses or the any animation if selenium does not find an element immediately it throws the no such element exception and to handle this we use the weight concept in the uh, selenium so first weight is a implicit weight so implicit weight is a global weight which it which is applicable to all element which present in the web page means it is a global weight and is applied globally to all element in the test case so we have to uh, set the implicit weight once and which applies to all element in the session and the syntax of the implicit weight is driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly weight and here we have to pass the time in the duration of the second and the key point of implicit weight is like it is applied the globally means applied once globally it is suitable for the simple pages with predictable load time now moving to the next a uh, next concept and next concept is the explicit weight so what is explicit weight so explicit weight means it wait for a specific condition to be met before proceeding as the implicit weight is applies to all the element present in the web page explicit weight cannot apply to the all element web page it applies to a specific element means uh, it wait for a specific condition to be met and for that the syntax is web driver weight is equal to new web driver weight in bracket we have to write driver at the duration of second here we have to uh, give the time then we have to find the web element and apply the condition like web expected condition dot element to be clickable condition like visibility clickability alert present we use this condition in the explicit way now moving to the third concept and the third concept is a fluent weight so fluent weight means uh, uh, what is fluent weight so fluent weight is a more advanced version of the explicit weight which allow us to check the conditions at a regular regular interval until the element appear in the fluent weight we can ignore the exceptions like no such element exception which is not possible in the explicit weight and the implicit weight so it is the advantage of the fluent weight that we can ignore the exceptions so also the main advantage of the fluent weight that it check the element at a regular interval with the help of 
polling every so also it handle the dynamically loaded element before better than the explicit way so it is a difference between the explicit way fluent way and the implicit way now moving to the next question and the next question is what is test ng and why it is used in the automation testing so first we see what is test ng so test ng is a java based testing framework also we can say test ng is a testing framework inspired by the j unit and the n unit it is used for running the automation test cases efficiently means we can execute the test cases in the test ng framework where test ng stand for test next generation so test ng provide the powerful feature like parallel execution it uses the annotation like iterate test before meter iterate after meter it also support the data driven testing with the iterate data provider annotation it generate the html report and with the help of test ng we can grouping and the prioritize the test cases so why test ng use in the automation test ng because annotations for the better test management we use in the test ng like iterate test iterate before meter iterate last iterate before last also test ng allow the running the multiple test cases in the parallel using test ng.xml file which speed up the execution means it support the parallel test execution it also support the data driven testing with the help of iterate data provider annotation to pass the multiple set of data to a single test meter it also support the test case prioritization means using priority we can define the order of the test ng execution also it generate the detailed test report means test ng automatically generate the html report which include the test execution result so in this way we have to explain this question that what is test ng and why we we are using the test ng in the automation framework now moving to the next question now moving to the next question and the next question is find a duplicate character from the string means it is a java program and in this program we have to find a duplicate character in the string so in this program we are we, we are going to using a set concept so a uh, set help us to store only the unique value and uh, what is set so a set is like a box where we can store the letter like it does not allow a duplicate means each letter is store only one if we try to put the same letter twice then it will not allow it so here is the program and we will see the line by line so first we create the two set one set is toward the unique character for the first time and another set, set is to toward the duplicate character and then we are using the loop through each character in the string so if the in this loop if the letter is not in the first set then add it it will add it and if the letter is already in the first set then it will move to the duplicate set means this is a loop in this loop we are going through each character in the string so if the letter is not in the first set then it will add it and if the letter is already in the first set so it will move to the duplicate character set and in this line it will print a duplicate character so here we have created two set one is for unique character it will store the letter for the first time and the second is a duplicate character which store the letter which appear more than once then we are we will go through the loops loop means <coughs> it will check whether a uh, character is added or not in character is present in the stick or not here we are using the two character meter which break the word into the letter then if the letter is a new then it will add to the unique character and if the letter is already there then it will move to the duplicate character means duplicate character means this set and unique character means this set then there is a printing the duplicate character so this print all the character that appear more than once so it is a duplicate characters like this so in this way we we will uh, execute this program means we have to find a duplicate from the string with the help of set so in this program 
we 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 use a set to track the unique character and the if the character appear again then it will move to the second test that stored a duplicate so in this way you have to explain this question in the interview i hope guys you understand this question so in this way i have created one note which contain 2000 plus interview questions or 2500 interview questions for the java or java selenium and the manual testing api and the rest is sure so if you have these notes please go through the link i am sharing its link in the comment box and the description box these notes contain the 2000 plus interview questions which gather from the different different platforms like linkedin whatsapp channel telegram groups telegram channel and i have tried to provide each answer in very detail with a real time example so if you have these notes go through this link and share your feedback for these notes if you like my content so please do like share and subscribe and if you have any question so please uh, comment in the comment box i will discuss this questions in the next video thank you for watching this video thank you once again